Hello and welcome back to the Regimentals YouTube channel. I'm at Stonely Military Affair in the middle, middle of England, the Midlands. Um, up early this morning, half past five, got to the show, forgot my wristband, had a, a big argument with the organizers, I was told to pack up my stand and leave. Then she realized who I was, uh, then we resolved it, but it was all a bit of, an, uh, a bit of excitement. Um, all settled down in the end. Um, yeah, yeah uh, lots of queues to get in, which shows that the hobby is still very vibrant. It's very busy inside, uh, which is why I've had to come outside to film my intro uh, clip, just because um, I filmed at Stoney last time and I had a few comments from people about the noise. They couldn't hear me talking because the noise inside. So um, I came outside just to film the intro clip. Um, I have done videos at Stoneley before, so I'm not going to endorse the show too much. I'm just going to show some clips um, of the, the halls with some stands and I'm going to show my stand and maybe talk through some pieces I have to sell on the stand. Um, I have already bought a really nice um, British paratrooper glider grouping, which I'll probably show you um, back at the office uh, after the show. Really nice group. This show is always good. I get offered a lot of stuff over the table. People, uh, members of the public, they come in and they offer me stuff for sale. So I don't have to do much walking around trying to look for stuff. I actually get stuff brought to me at this show. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. So we just wanted to use this opportunity to have a good look at our stand, show you some of the pieces up close. Nice Hess Pibble Harb. This is the Austrian Berndorfer helmet plate in that Austrian brown. Uh, here we have a nice Prussian Pibble Harb in tin, what they call the Erzatz model. And some nice camo M16s. just literally picked up at this show this very very nice mouse grey first pattern wrap over uh, for the army assault gunner and uh, it's a, a despise rank senior NCO as well a very rare piece we picked that up at the show here very rare nice British paratrooper helmet with the fibre rim across here a nice a2 jacket that's quite poignant for the uh, new show starting on TV long-awaited series about uh, masters of the sky some nice overseas caps a lovely helmet that had wire on it camo parade army helmet SS overseas cap Luftwaffe camouflage helmet and here is the, uh, the cavalry ear cutout helmet from uh, World War II. Also used in World War I, but this is a World War II issue helmet. Brought with us a nice selection of visor caps, Luftwaffe, political. There's a nice crusher cap there, Pioneer. Here are some nice SS caps. We have a Waffen SS officers, Algemein SS officers. 
a rare early colour piped SS cap, nice navy visor. Here we have a named general's tunic, general's overseas cap, nice panzer wrap over an overseas cap, and that's the British Irving jacket there. Here's a nice selection of what we call M43 caps. I mean, uh, really, they're, they're M40, but uh, they're just generally referred to as M43 caps. All different ranks of uh, arms of service and a large selection of overseas caps. Um, as many people know, we bought a big collection last year, which had a big amount of overseas caps in it. Nice. Uh, white snow camera. So in my glass cases I have a large selection of Mauser K98 bayonets, some with the serrated edge known as the sawback. And here some lovely Lugers, this is the artillery Luger with the long barrel. Fighting knives, these are German World War I fighting knives. And then at the top of this glass case some Italian World War II daggers. Another glass case of bayonets, and this is the very rare British First World War knife known as the Welsh knife. £4,250 for that item, really rare. I bought a selection of medals and badges with me. Nice bit of colour to the table. This item has drawn a lot of attention today, this small toy, tin toy, very rare to have the flag still with it, some cuff titles, and then we moved, move on to daggers, and I have three SS chain daggers with me at the moment, army daggers, and here an item I picked up at the show, the uh, Himmler signature, here's a selection of SA daggers, Navy daggers and finally that is a Luftwaffe survival machete in the middle there, very rare piece. Okay so I'm back at the office now, the show was not a great success but you win some you lose some. Uh, I did say during the video that I would show you a, a British paratrooper group which I bought at the show, but I actually sold it to my friend Colin who works with me on Monday. Some people might know Colin who watched the videos. Um, so I don't have that to show you. It's not fair for me to show it because I've sold it to, to Colin now. Um, but I have got an awful lot of stuff just come into stock um, since we got back from the show, including this lovely SS dagger, it's an officer's a chained SS dagger and uh, that is now on the website we have just literally updated the website um, so you'd be able to go on there and see it for sale now it's £5,550. Uh, we have a big show coming up this weekend we're in Birmingham the International Arms Fair uh, at the Motorcycle Museum and straight after the show we are flying off to the US for the SOS show so hopefully we'll see some of our American friends out there at the show thanks for watching